Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri wa Yassir Li Amri. So this series is to correct some of the notions which are continuously hammered for 16 years into the learner's mind that study is meant for making money, work hard so that you can make money, so that you can get a job, so that you can get an employment. One, this definition itself creates a very myopic and very negative sense of the study itself, the learning process itself. Number two, the relationship it creates in the minds over the period of time, that relationship is neither correlational nor causational. Uh, that's uh, what we need to correct and uh, give a system perspective and a larger perspective of the things so that the children study for the sake of the beauty of itself. Uh, let's discuss it a little more. So first thing is about definition. We have been created, each one of us is unique and with a different set of faculties. People are good at visual, some are good at manual skills, some are good at thinking, some are introvert and they are more creative, some are more uh, gregarious and they can connect well. So this definition that it's only about learning math, science and uh, some of the computer skill, let's say, it's not. It's about your physical, spiritual, emotional and that all mix of uh, intellectual skills that make us totally unique, each one of us. That's why this uh, the creator says, Faddala baadukum ala baad, for risk, right? So this is important to understand that we come to uh, make our personalities uh, in our own unique way. So it's a, a, everybody has a different trajectory. That's one important to understand. Number two, the critical things, and we see in the nature, whether it's air or water, that we need daily to breathe and live, are free. There's no discrimination, because he's a believer or a non-believer or whatever. No, it's free. Number two, the very critical things in our life, the life and death itself, being guided, the respect or is it or honor that we receive in life, the sustenance, the larger definition that my faculties are intellectual, emotional, spiritual, mental and physical, the risk, and who can harm me or benefit me. They are not in individual's hands or in one system's hand. You can say it's in it's in the system of systems which kind of determine it. And it's actually uh, uh, the creator who has lots of variables to control to uh, provide it to individually according to his uh, faculties and provisions. One. Number two. Ownership. Do I own my body? The way we behave with children, it seems like as if I own my child. No, it's not. I don't own my own body. Our children, our own bodies and our faculties are a trust to us. Right? We are answerable to our deeds. That's the basic of all ethics. Otherwise, there are lots of things that I want to do, but I won't, would not do for a larger uh, uh, system and a benefit in society, uh, sakes, which is the fundamental. So, but this provision that a uh, master of the factory needs an accountant or a house owner needs a plumber, this is a mutual dependence. This is the bonding. It's simple that uh, some has a more electronegativity and a positive electropositivity and they have to bond together through this mutual relationship. But each one of them should be uh, good in their own uh, uh, faculties and they should work hard in that. So the definition that money comes from uh, a particular uh, uh, work hard and associating this with and thus in that killing the beauty or uh, the, the significance of the learning itself is extremely negative, which is we just carry on in the existing system. So now let's go back to a little bit of the basics of the religion, uh, the philosophy of religion uh, based on our Islam that uh, then what does it re is it related to? One, it is related to very few things have been told. One simple basic principle is it's a secret. It's, it's totally in the creator's hand and it's not revealed. Very little is known. So we will share some of those very little stuff. One of them is Subhanallah wa bihamdi Subhanallah al-Azim. 
making this sort of relationship with the creator have that sort of peace and uh, repeat this this has been uh, told by the prophet himself istighfar has a relationship and has been told in many traditions and uh, uh, our literature helping those who cannot earn my brother cannot earn or my daughter cannot earn or my sister cannot earn or neighbor cannot earn there are lots of traditions in which we hear that he was being bestowed or blessed because uh, of the one he was helping in her house in her family who, who was not able to earn so that helps surah waqiah there is a very famous uh, incident by ibn mas'ud ibn mas'ud is one of the two most highly ranked knowledgeable person hazrat ali and uh, abdullah ibn mas'ud are the two most highly ranked in knowledge he when he was on the death bed uh, hazrat usman came and uh, he said uh, he was worried uh, abdullah ibn mas'ud's uh, daughters were uh, what will happen about them abdullah said no i have told them uh, and i have heard it from messenger they recite surah waqia every night i'm not worried about their sustenance so it has some relationships so these are the real things and few more doing good spending on others this god uh, has counted it as a loan on himself so it will be returned now the returner is the one who has absolutely no constraints of the one that the creator has dua and sadaqa yeah they these are the ones which uh, matter Uh, this is one of the things that we feel everything is if the fixed like a boilerplate no nothing is fixed like a boilerplate everything is in the knowledge of the creator and he can change anything this dua and sadaqa are the means to do that right few more things that have been revealed are family ties right anyone who likes to have their provisions increased or life lengthened should maintain family ties that's prophet told raising your daughters and uh, doing their trainings and marrying them uh, comes in in traditions quran says very interesting thing have a relationship with me be conscious of me wa man yattaqillaha yaj'al lahu makhrajan wa yarzuquhu man haythu ya i will give you from there will you can't even perceive you can't have you can't imagine where does the things uh, faculties and provisions and all that broader definition of risk come to you so these are important to understand surah waqia is very interesting i mean uh, uh, i started it as a practice in my family myself uh, learning it from uh, ibn masud radhiyallahu ta'ala anha anhu and uh, one day i just paused and reflected what is it which which is about uh, the sustenance and how we get things or and it was saying very interesting lessons afaraitu ma tarsun look you throw seed but who grows it do you have any control that it sprouts right and it says we could have turned it into dust and chaff but we didn't do it because we know uh, you need things then it uh, it turns into afaraitu uh, ma who brings water that you drink and plants drink and and uh, things grow and it's a, it's a life uh, um, chemical and it goes on that it's us right and we could have made it all uh, bitter and salty but we didn't so that that risk that sustenance uh, it goes to you and it goes on it goes on uh, even then to energy and uh, fire who did it who made the plants and uh, uh, which eventually you turned into fire and all that all forms of it's a kind of analogy with the energy so that gives an understanding that we play a little part of the system which is dependent on so many other variables in the universe and the creature and the solar system and the energy and the photons coming from 150 million kilometers and how that resonance creates that photon to convert preserve that energy into the plants and how we take it are we really manipulating that ourselves so that lesson dawned upon me uh, just when i just paused and reflect that's very important the next thing i did is okay let me just uh, filter down the computer helps a lot uh, where is afaraitum how many times this afaraitum look at this comes in this particular uh, chapter ar waqia so it was uh, four things which were in it 
and starts with you ejaculate the sperm then what happens do you control something that uh, this sperm which we now are 55 million sperms ejaculate and how it makes way how it gets energy how uh, it's an external material going into a body but body is not killing it how it defend itself even its mathematical model has been made last year by Dr. Uh, Hermes Gadita in University of York. And imagine this 55 million needed a huge lots of uh, uh, complex uh, computer modeling just for one sperm. And then the other things that uh, 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 tries to relate to uh, create in us the concept of uh, a very large thinking and thinking of system of systems is look at the water. Now imagine the water cycle. Who gives it energy? Where is its energy coming from? And uh, it's amazing in, in itself. It condenses and precipitates. And then after uh, how, how do you uh, get energy from these hydrocarbons? Where do the hydrocarbons come from? The journey that a photon take from uh, plants are eating sun through, through a mechanism, right? And uh, then it says, okay, okay, then you grow. And still you think it is we who are producing agriculture and all that? Look stupid. Look stupid as if we uh, do not know the relationships of the things and uh, stop talking on one strand, ignoring the rest of the system of systems, which are totally, absolutely not in our controls. Right. So these are all means and they might not necessarily lead to acquisition. Right. So this, this is very revealing in that sense. And, and things have to be seen in the total perspective, not just kind of one. We can never be total. We, uh, there are always our limitations. But at the same time, the same uh, body of knowledge tells us, keep learning. Always keep learning. And don't say me, say we. We need to learn. Keep working hard. That's what the creator wants us to see on that level. And keep sharing. And keep asking. And at the end, after all that systems, and there's no distinction between kind of a, the critical things of this world, will come to everybody. If it's knowledge and the working hard and the sharing is the denominator, right? You need teams. You need uh, kind of uh, uh, passing on the benefits. As a result, we will feed you, we will give you provisions and we will give you provisions to the next generation. That's what we do. Don't worry because what will happen to my son and I have to preserve something for him. No, you're answerable to do these things. Keep learning, keep working hard, keep spending and don't waste and all that. And then it says, and we will give you much more. We can. That's what creator says. And that is very important that uh, uh, our next generation should always keep an eye on the future, uh, what future skills are required, what are 21st century skills, and learning and honing and shining our faculties, study, education, knowledge, working hard is the way to do that so that we can contribute into society because uh, we want to be seen at a level which is ihsan, the excellence level. That is what uh, the Creator wants. Wallahu yuhib al -muhsineen. These are very insightful words by Churchill. We make a living by what we get and we make a life by what we give. So that's what it is. Thank you very much.